Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me on Wayback Wednesday. No, you are not watching a repeat of last week. Last week I showed you the extra large thin lips holder as a Wayback Wednesday project for 2014. This is one of my earlier ones. This is 2013 um, and this was for our regular thin lips and frame lips. And this box here comfortably holds eight. I would say probably more than that and you're going to bulge too much. And I'm working on a theme and as I said last week I actually never did make a my although I made the series I never had a set that looked exactly the same so you can see I've got a couple down here really old paper can't even remember the names of those um, but I'm going to stick this week same as last week with the love and affection paper and uh, flirty flamingo which I can now say that paper okay so let me move this so I can read my measurements um, so I am working with A4 cardstock, which is eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters. If you work with eight and a half by eleven, trim it down to eight and a quarter. Your back is going to be three quarters of an inch shorter, so you're going to get a, a, a shallower bit there. So that's okay. You don't have to break out a piece of twelve by twelve um, unless you really want to. Okay, so eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters. Uh, which is 21 by 29.7 centimetres for those of us who work in metric. On the long side, we're going to score it at 4 inches and 6 inches, which in metric is 10 and 15 centimetres. Now, as I said, those of you who are working with 11 inch cardstock, it's just going to be that little bit of difference. And then turn it round. On the short side, you're going to score it at 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. And as the light shining, six and seven eighths of an inch, which in metric is three and a half and seventeen and a half centimeters. Okay, so it's the same sort of principle as the previous week's project, but a bit different. And there is an adhesive issue. Well, there isn't an adhesive issue. You just have to be careful where you place your adhesive. So, and I will show you why and explain why in a minute but I want to get my DSP panel on this measures five and a quarter by three and three quarters which is correct uh, 13 and a half by nine and a half centimeters isn't it pretty I like this one it this is very much a set that I will love and cherish a lot so and I love all of the colors I love that there's a crazy mishmash mix-up of colors Okay, so that part's going on there. So exa exactly the same as last week. If you didn't watch last week's, go watch it. Um, we're, and if you didn't see it, for your benefit, we're cutting it into the middle of the box, essentially. And cutting straight down these along the skinny part, longer rectangles, and cutting into these. Okay, so fold your box so you've got the inside, put your tabs in, we're going to put adhesive on there, and we're going to put adhesive on here, except we're not going to put it all the way to the edge, we're just going to put it on this outside part here. And the reason we're going to do that is because it actually, I don't know how well you're going to see it on this, it doesn't meet there because I wanted the width of it, because I wanted to get lots of framelits in. And unfortunately on my sample that I made, I really don't know that you're seeing it. I forgot that part, so there's sticky glue on display. So just put your adhesive on the outside of these tabs. Okay. But this one you can liberally apply all over. So as I said, just on the outside of that one, and just on the outside of this one. So these tabs, we're going to put them, attach them to here. I don't know what's just fallen off my desk. Something has. So there you go. You can see that it's not meeting up. There is glue here and here. That's okay because that's going to get covered by this. And I'm lining up the bottom. And making sure that it lines up there. There we go, grab my bone folder. 
doesn't show as much on the Knight of Navy. It definitely shows more on this colour. I'm not too worried. It's a display item in my office. And we're going to again cut down at, the, at an angle, same as last week, but we're going to go from this corner to this one. And what you end up with is sort of like a wedged back. Can you see that there? That shape? It's okay, I kind of like that one. And that one there. So that's the shape. Like I say, you can see this, you could panel it. I've only panelled the front, you could panel all the way round. It doesn't show up very much on the darker colours, it does on the lighter. We're okay with that. Same as before, coming in with some ribbon. I think I might need to be ordering some more of this particular colour. Quite possibly because I've just hacked that off way too long. Oh well, I have a big bow on this one. Grab my framelits and slide them in. So, like I say, there's eight fits in there without any issue whatsoever. Let's have another bundle and a whole batch fits in there as well. I hope you like it. Easy peasy. Next week there might be another one in the series. Slightly different again. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon.